morning. I kind of hijacked his channel, by the way. Hi guys, I'm, I'm his brother. My brother just shot the intro of his next vlog, what he thinks is, he knows what's gonna be in it, but he has no idea. I got a kind of big surprise for him. Let's see what he says about it. <laughs> Beautiful morning, huh? You're like, oh, are we vlog? Are you vlogging now? Are you vlogging? I'm kind of vlogging, yeah. But I do kind of have a kind of surprise for you. You're like, oh no, what is this? What's going on? No, I like your surprises. Last yeah. time it was a pizza oven. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a pizza oven. It's a bit, little bit more physical this time. We as a team, together with two other experts, are gonna compete in the swim run world championships together, ö to ö. By the way, it, it's 60 kilometers running and 10 k's open sea swimming. You kind of went kind of quiet right now. We That's... had a peaceful morning. Life is great. <laughs> For you guys who doesn't know what the Ö to ö swim run world championships is like. It's take, a bad take, idea. Take a look at this. Let's do it. First Monday in March. March? March. Uh, September, September, of course. First Monday in September. <laughs> <laughs> so you should probably go on the rock down there on the right side, not on the stairs, because there's no stairway where we're going. <laughs> let's see kind of where we're at with the uh, swimming part of things. Okay, so let's do a tryout here. So we're running down the cobble. Okay, here we're coming. Uh, we're coming, we're tired. We're we're been, we're we've been running for 30 k's now. 50 k's. 50 k's. Okay, buoy. Buoy, okay, right? <laughs> but you know it's freezing. Yeah, but there. don't talk, crawl. It's a race. Uh, pretty okay, anyway. And now turn back. Oh, it's cold in the, in the face. Ah, oh, my face! So rotate your body, slide on the side of your body, not your, like, turn your neck only. Entrance coming out of the water. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you see? <laughs> this is after 10 minutes, uh, 10 meters of running and 20 meters of swimming. <laughs> you can crawl. With a little bit of coaching from some experts and stuff, we're running your way better than me. Like runner, you're, you're like 50% better than me. I believe in you. Let's, let's do one more. And then enters to the water, no diving. Running for 60 kilometers, swimming for 10 kilometers. You guys think he has what it takes? Oh, face cold, face cold. Is it warmer in September? <sighs> it's gonna be long, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a journey for both of us. What do you guys think? Who's, th who's gonna be the strongest? I mean, you're a much better swimmer, but I have. Yeah, but it's 60 kilometers running. I've never ran further than 16 kilometers, never. And I did that once. Okay, let's, let's uh, see what you guys hear. <laughs> I can't, I can't even talk. I see what you guys think, but I think we should go get something that also can navigate the archipelago without an ice cream headache. Just picking up his new boat. But this boat feels kind of more uh, safe to operate on, right? So, I mean, clearly I have a rocket ship. Rocket ships are not ideal for like five minute runs to get an ice cream with kids. So that is why we decided that we needed a, you know, go to the city, ice cream, ice cream boat. Ice cream boat. Ice cream boat. Yeah. But, but as you know, like I have done quite a bit of research on boats over the years and in the end the choice fell on an iron 827 so let's go check so it out. this little puppy right here huh this little puppy right here brand new no 10 hours oh it's a 300 mercury They're all nice v8, <laughs> nice. v8. Oh, i'll go through the boat more later but let's let's jump on 
Annika. Tror jag det fick. Fick jag Annika? Like one and a half minutes in, and you already lost your key, huh? No, it's here on the floor. <laughs> on the floor, Jesus Christ! This is easy. You will, you will uh, learn this quick. Yeah. It behaves almost like a car. So quick, we need a motor. Engine down. Like if we can program a distinguished route home, that would be great for me just to... Yeah, but if we follow this one... Mm -hmm. This is. You always make it feel so yeah, simple. Sure. Like you say, it's so simple, but then we end up in some other place. <laughs> and they're talking about how much fuel we have left. I'm more like concerned how much, how many cookies do we have left? Like in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> open ocean. No, I, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Yes. The uh, Coast Guard and the police. <laughs> we just go on a boat trip like, like they, normal people. Just it wrong. The summer. Nice meeting you, Hassan. Uh, nice, nice. After about nine million hours of researching the perfect. We're finally here. Boat. Yeah. Approved by me. Approved and by and you. I do not approve many of your decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this puppy out. Drop my SMS so that something is gone. Like taking the final picture of the boat, huh? <laughs> the last time you'll see the boat. Arewa. <laughs> I feel like Titanic, you know. Do we look good? Do we look? Fantastic. Do we look like responsible people? You look like responsible. Do we, but we look cool too, right? Really cool. Do we have fuel, anyway? Do we have fuel? Seriously, do we have fuel? I think so. <sighs> ah. How much is that feeling worth? New boat day. A boat day is a good day. A brand new boat is a great day. No, but seriously, this is one of your best decisions. I've seen you made so far. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not sure if I should be happy or sad. <laughs> no, but the thing is, Manafelt, who designs the hull for this, I think 15 out of, I don't know how many cats that run in the highest offshore racing class in the US, you know, the Miss Geico, the 50 foot like crazy cats. 15 of those he designed the hull for. So he's like the Mr. Miyagi of the boat hulls. So normally here, if you look at the speed, you're not about seven, most boats they start to sit back because it starts to go heavy but here like it just it just doesn't come up so that means you have perfect visibility going forward that's actually true it doesn't rise that much like whoa like nothing i was mind blown when i first saw that Hello. Ah. Yeah. How do we look? Good. Good job, guys. Thank you. We made it. Now we have lunch ready. But this is actually a Yanni boat, I think. It's yeah. I felt safe and with the quality and the, uh, the easy handling of the boat or something else. Like yeah. So uh, I want to explain here. So this is the Iron 827. And um, what I like about like, so with, with kids, you have the high freeboards, meaning they can run around, which a regular rib doesn't have, but it still has, you know, the protective kind of rib sides. And then the cool thing in the back is that instead of just an engine cover, you have all the seats, and then you have all of this. But this summer, the coop comes, meaning um, fully closed so that if it's cold and bad weather, we want to go to the city, 
then the closed is, is better because you can still open the roof and both sides. I just think it's a really cool looking boat. So we all know little Freya is already an experienced mountaineer. Yeah, she's a winter athlete. Is this the premier water activity? Open water activity, yes. A boat is not tested until you put the whole family in it and eat some ice cream. Leon, do you like the new boat? Yeah. High five. Nice. Yeah. Leon says go fast. The docking went great, um, although kids and assistant filming uh, is quite uh, busy. busy. We have one sleeping, solid first experience though. Anders, first trip? Or Powder King, sorry. The Powder King is happy. Oh, this is, it's such a cool place. And uh, I mean, since this is kind of like a, a family vacation, we're running iPhone vlogs this time, um, so hopefully that works. And sleeping kids, but today is about enjoying the boat, so I'm gonna go buy, buy, buy an ice cream as well, because that's part of boat life. Fuel, though. Fuel, yes, fuel. Fuel, fuel first. Uh, 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 what did you find, Leon? Is it a rainbow, rainbow ice cream? Yeah. Nice. Now, look at this. Hans dinner pizza day. So you're still better than, with the dough than me. You guys have to rate my pizza skills. I'm, I'm keep claiming that I'm top three in Sweden. And, and I guess the, like the real pizza nerd, they're like gonna, gonna be like, yeah, he doesn't do his own dough and blah blah blah. But it's like it's the taste that matters. Are you hungry, Leon? Yeah. Me too. You think the pizza's gonna be good? Yeah. And Jan's mom is here, so we're full force. We're full house. This is like a, a kids' pizza. Beginner started keeping the chaos out of control. Okay. Pizza. Yeah. Still looks, still looks money. This is just tomato cheese and then we have a Spanish salami that's bread bar. How do you say bread bar in English? Like when you can put an eye on Bread bar, bread bar. Yeah, bread bar. We'll bread call it bread bar. bar. <laughs> this is kind of my signature one. Um, pizza skagen. All Swedish guys will recognize it, but not maybe on a pizza. Like a shrimp rora. Mix with, uh, I don't know, mayonnaise and a uh, bunch of stuff. And then uh, some Vesterbotten cheese, classic Swedish cheese. It's like the Swedish Greyer one of, of Switzerland, yeah. but it's Swedish one. And we have some uh, chopped red onions on it and uh, dill. Dill and uh, dill? lemon zest. Lemon zest and some salt. 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 It's time for the kids to sleep. So we're gonna call it a night on this vlog as well. But if you're watching this, the new knit stuff, stuff that we've done is also live and it's fantastic stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with a boat because that means we can do adventures and that we can live, you know, this type of life. Yes. Leon, are we gonna win? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Clara? Ah! with that, we're gonna end and see. So we are gonna end with a sunset time-lapse. Peace out.